so the 6a in redmi 6a means rupees 6000 a no i don't think so so my cat got to the box before i could so the package was pretty light and uh, it didn't have much stuff inside of it except for the phone of course because if the box didn't have the phone then uh, what else could it have it was a very small package very small box because the phone is also small it came with a charger with a usb micro cable and that's about it the charger is 1 ampere which i think is the slowest in the market but i think we shouldn't complain for a 6000 rupees phone the pin it came with was also very cute i'd say i'd not say it was cheap or anything it was very cute plastic on the back sticker on the front 5.45 hd plus display 8 inch to 9 full screen display ratio helio a20 quad core processor 12 nm technology 3000 mah typical battery a single lens camera on the top with the flash volume rocker and the power button on the right 3.5 mm jack on the top the plastic on the back feels pretty sturdy micro usb charging point on the bottom buyback price is 0.9 paise so you will get a lot of money back if you plan to sell this in the future the international version of this phone had only a single tray which could only support a sim card and a memory card or two sim card at the same time but the indian version has an extra sim tray the, for the second sim and you can put your second sim in the second tray and your memory card in the first sim in the first tray so pretty good so i've been using this phone for a few days now i would really commend its battery backup as you can see uh, right now i don't have the sim put in in the phone but i was using it for quite some time and it's been 20 hours since i've been using this phone and as you can see that in 20 hours the screen was roughly on for 1 hour and and it just used 27% of the battery other things which i really liked about this phone was that it came with mi ui 10 right out of the box and uh, it saves you the hassle of uh, uh, upgrading the phone with a very heavy download ota update uh, i bought this phone to mainly use it as my gps navigation uh, device on the bike because i mostly ride on the bike so i thought it's better to buy a phone uh, dedicated to that because in that way you can save a lot of battery on your main phone and using the hotspot you can easily uh, use the other with this phone as your google map device or whatever but i noticed is that uh, the google map the interface of the google map app uh, isn't that fluid as i expected it to be but i know that it's a it's not a very expensive phone i think it's one of the cheapest phone out there from xiaomi and xiaomi being a very good brand now in india uh, with all the service centers and everything then i tried the hair app from microsoft and as you can see it's quite fluid so pretty happy with the performance of the phone on the hair map app I know that Google Maps is uh, mostly we use Google Maps and it also has a, m- a lot more information than Here Map for but for basic navigation I don't think uh, even on Google Maps I would be facing any major problems. Another thing which I loved about this phone was its maximum brightness. I mean it's really really good. Uh, I was actually surprised how good it is. Also I've noticed that the uh, GPS connectivity is very strong. The call connectivity is also very strong. and uh, the idle time of the phone it doesn't drain the battery much but if you are in a low network area then it does drain a battery considerably faster because it keeps on trying to connect to the best network range out there apart from these things i really like the front camera i think i like the front camera more than the rear camera of the phone i'll show you the pictures in a while and if you can excuse the epic fashion sense here the picture is good and this was taken from the front camera I was actually surprised by the amount of detail the camera captured under the tube light condition thank god that picture is gone this picture was taken again in indoor lighting condition a single tube light was on and uh, the amount of details were fairly well captured and in this picture i am just showing off my phone another good example of a good picture taken by the rear camera fairly pleased by the performance of camera and the artificial lighting this picture was taken by the redmi 6 camera and as you can see the overall picture is quite bad 
and in comparison i took a picture from note 9 and this is how it looks so don't expect it to perform miraculously when it comes to extreme low light conditions both the front and the rear camera record full hd videos at 30 fps so that is very good don't expect um, great performance from the camera especially in low light testing the microphone of the phone so basically this phone has all the features which uh, any expensive Xiaomi phone would have but just slower just a little slower I haven't gamed on the phone because I don't game on mobile phones and I don't think I'm gonna push this phone especially in terms of how its performance is when playing games YouTube streaming is great let me play my own video haha <laughs> Because it's 18 is to 9 ratio so all the uh, latest videos which support this ratio are compatible with the phone uh, the maximum resolution at which you can play the videos is 720p which I think is fine this is not going to be my primary phone and uh, as you must have noticed the speaker is quite loud How much you can figure out the loudness of the sound with the video but I think this the sound output the, vo the volume of the speaker is quite sufficient so if we try to check the desktop site on the phone let's see how fluid it is or is it not yeah quite satisfied with the performance of opening web pages on a 6000 rupees phone not bad not bad at all This is what technology has done under 100 USD dollars and you get a phone as good as the first Samsung Galaxy or the first iPhone. <laughs> I hope you guys must have noticed that inside settings and a lot of things we see such kind of advertisements by the Xiaomi. So basically they are trying to generate revenue from their MIUI ROM by showing us these ads inside the settings which I think is uh, really wrong but I know why they are doing this if they don't do this they won't survive because uh, I think they are making one of the most value for money phones in India and for that price you won't find anything else as good as the MI phones out there so to balance their revenue to go into profit they had to do this sometime and I think they have started they have started pushing this in a lot of uh, like you would be generally browsing in the phone and you would start seeing such ads all over the phone so that's it for this review do subscribe if you like the review do subscribe if you did not like the review do subscribe if you're skipping to the other video do subscribe if you're not skipping to the other video i should really work on my endings mubot out